Our first question is actually from Agus Calientes, and uh, it goes something like this. It is actually faxed in. Is the global movement to open standards and sources a trend only in technology, or will it extend to other fields such as education and government services? I think this is a trend that will extend to other fields. Uh, the education already has many of uh, people's syllabuses and uh, reading lists and so forth have been posted online for a number of years. Uh, government services, the information again is available online. I think it even goes beyond that because a lot of uh, uh, companies are now releasing their technology. Java and Brew and others are releasing their technology to developers. So it's not only a matter of accessing material online, it's actually accessing the technology and, and the software uh, that enables future business development. Very good. Thank you for your responses. And our next question is from Hidalgo. Go ahead, please. Thank you and good morning. First, I'd like to thank the ITC for this new technology. Thank you. Go ahead. Supposing that each day digital culture becomes ever more present in our organizations, how do we ensure? I think we missed the last part of that question. How do we ensure? How avoid a clash and si puede repetir. Well, one of the things that uh, well, you know, is clearly evident uh, is that you have to maintain a face-to-face -face culture at the same time as maintaining a digital culture. If you lose one, uh, you may have a uh, corporate culture that uh, deteriorates over time. Uh, that's true. And, and do you think that there would be a clash between the personal and the digital cultures? Uh, there may be. And I, I'm, I'm interested that the new generation may be able to handle that digital culture without the face-to-face -face culture. Yeah. Although we that have you know, found face-to-face -face so important yeah. um, now need to have that complementing the digital culture. Right. Well, well and back to Nesbitt's uh, you know, theory that uh, high tech requires high touch, that you actually need more interpersonal communication when you're in uh, a digitally based world. So I guess that, that's an open question that we'll only know as the future there, there's unfolds. There's so many clues that we have with face to face yeah, that absolutely. we don't we get with digital then. Yeah. So maybe we can, people will learn to complement their digital communication and culture right. to, to fill that out. Or, or to complement it with uh, uh, with uh, things like video teleconferencing because they are uh, virtually real much as our broadcast today and as we move forward we'll probably see more of this. Uh, our next question is coming from Lima, Peru. Go ahead please. I'd like to thank you for the conference we are calling from Peru. I would like to know whether or not our conference speaker could respond to a question of great concern for our institution. While it is true that the computer technology has allowed us to grow and develop integrally on a global scale, how can we balance the digital culture and at the same time men maintain our social culture which offers values and principles? Thank you. Oh, that's a real challenge. Uh, the Internet it has been its own culture which has been one of freedom and access um, and no cost. And it's been largely unregulated as, mm -hmm. as, as it's at mm -hmm. its infancy. And so there is a real danger that it will develop in ways uh, that our traditional cultures don't agree with. Right, but that's been true of all technologies over time. You never know exactly how they're going to be applied. 
And we go to uh, Ecuador for uh, one more question. Go ahead, please. Good morning. I'm calling from the University of Espiritu Santo in Ecuador. We're interested in knowing what your opinion is regarding countries in de developing countries. Is it possible that developing countries have access to this kind of technology, or should they go through previous stages as opposed to going directly to that? Thank you. Uh, no, I don't think that it is linear. You do not need to go through the previous stages. You can use the current technology and apply it uh, to its fullest in currently. Um, and I think that's your choice is to, is to go to the current technology. You do not you need to revert. Right. It's a phenomenon called leapfrogging, and we'll talk more about it later. All right. Great. Thank you. Let's now present the module titled E-Technology and world-class performance.